All right, we're uh, we're gonna get Buddy saddled up here. We just got him all brushed, and we're taking Buddy out on a a ride today. I'm gonna go to a trailhead down here in town. It's a really popular trailhead for hikers and bikers. So we're gonna go check that out and see how Buddy does. But anyway, right now we're gonna talk about saddling and just you know taking the time. We you know we've working with Buddy right from hour one to have him calm and quiet and relaxed during all the stuff that, that we're gonna do with him. So we're gonna saddle him and I just wanna talk through you know kind of what he feels like and as we get get him saddled. So first off we'll check out our saddle pad here and I like to give him an opportunity to you know check it out and be curious. And the more cautious you know they can be real cautious and not check it out. And then they can be real calm and not check it out. You, you got to learn how to read which one's which. And uh, right now I'd say Buddy's really calm and, and not needing to check it out. Because we've done this every time I saddle him. I, I give him an opportunity to you know, check the saddle pad out. A little bit of caution with it up that high. But we've been working with Buddy. There we go. I kind of like putting the saddle pad on this way first number of times to just really help them you know with any head shy or issues about their head you know we get them nice and relaxed to where putting this on up over their neck is is no big deal you know see his head didn't even go up I freaking love it your 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 horse's head is their barometer or their you know kind of their their needle of stress worry rest relax we're, we're at a nice right in the middle range. We're not clear down here asleep and we're not up here in crazy either. So awesome. All right, we got the saddle pad on. Get my saddle rigged up here a little ready. Turn around this way, buddy. There we go. I love that, you know, me fussing around with all of this isn't causing him any stress and worry, right? You'd be able to tell in his head and neck how high his head is or how much his feet are moving on how stressed and worried he is. Doesn't feel like he's much worried at all. So as I come in, right, I'm just gonna come in and touch this shoulder, not even a muscle twitch. That's my, that's kind of my go-to. I'll come in and like, the brow band of my, my bridle touched. Like if I touch that and there's muscle quivers and fires, we're not as calm as, as I want to be. Look, not a thing, not a thing. Nothing's, nothing's twitching. And so what I know, Buddy's giving me the green light to just toss the saddle on there. So here we go. Just gonna fly that thing up on. His head come up just a little bit. Before I do anything else, I wanna help him just relax that little bit of tension. So I've been doing this every time I saddle him, every little uptick, every little up regulation, I want he and I to hang out and let's get back to a down regulation. Let's get back to feeling relaxed, calm and quiet. All right, let's just ask his feet to move and we'll kind of see really what he looks like. Does he move nice and smooth and soft or is he herky-jerky? Oh, he sure feels really just soft. I'm not seeing much of anything moving around. All right, let's go around the other way. Yield your hips there, big. There you go, right around that way so everybody can see. One more, good boy. Right there, good boy. So just engaging his sensory system, right? I give him some cues, some sight, sound, and touch on a few things to do. We engage the motor system, we got his feet moving. He was slow and soft about it. You know, he wasn't sharp, triggery, and uh, you know, sparky about things. So that all feels really good. 
This is what I'm waiting for. Here we go. See how he's just shaking that pressure off, licking and chewing, head down. Now that's the horse that I want to saddle up, right? Look how calm, how quiet that body language is. Head down, you know, his neck, he's got a, a level line across there. We got soft ears, soft eyes, soft muzzle. Feet are soft and quiet, you know, things aren't moving around. He's not looking around, right? He's not scoping around looking for trouble. He's like, oh, I know the routine, man. Let's, let's just hang out and relax. And so for, for Buddy, you know, getting tacked up and doing things has kind of turned into just a great big time out. You know, it's just a good time for him to chill the hell out and just relax. So, good boy. All right, his head come up because, you know, I come in here and we're going we're gonna to start working. And as long as I don't feel anything too sparky, like his head come up nice and slow, right? It wasn't like he threw it up like, what the hell's happening? He was really, really slow about it, really nice. Good boy. I'll make sure everything's good over here. And then I'm just gonna get my tack on this side. Let down, breast collar, front and back cinch. Make sure, you know, I don't have any twists in anything. Everything's good to go. I'm gonna come back underneath and I can get over here on this side and cinch him up. Today's going to be, uh, I think this is Buddy's, I don't know, seventh or eighth ride. Second ride out of the round pen. So when I'm cinching them up, like I like to come up tight, then I'm going to back that back off and just let it be for a moment. I want them to get used to you know, there's going to be some pressure and it's going to go away. There's going to be some pressure, it's going to go away. So he's kind of self-regulating and kind of letting that pressure, the stimulus, letting that go. So get it up kind of tight and then let it out. I just don't want to build in the habit, you know, where they, they puff up, they get tight. As soon as they see you reach for the cinch, right, they start bracing and getting puffed up. So I want this to be just a nice nice little thing and he's not conditioning himself you know to be bracy and be you know get ready to get cut in half man I see a lot of you out of fear that your saddle's gonna slide or slip and you're gonna fall off cranking this cinch too tight right if you think your saddle's gonna roll and slip fix the saddle fix your blanket you know what is the issue Get that handle. Your cinch does not need to be cutting them in half to hold your tack on there. If it does, you got the wrong tack. Quick plug for balanced ride saddles. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna come in. And I've been watching, you know, I'm looking at this little, my next hole right there is where I wanna lock that in. Right there I could get it. Loosen that up again. So this will be the third time. I'm gonna get it right up to that point. And see, Buddy's not braced, he's not protective, he's not cautious. He's just chilled, relaxed, and going, yeah. He's gonna pull and tug on that a minute. Get it up to my spot, latch it in. Done. Grab my back cinch. You know, I wanna give a few little tugs. Make sure that Buddy hasn't got any triggers in there. Get that done up. You know, if my mentor, uh, Janice Wilson was watching, she'd be, you know, she, that's why I just did up those straps on my saddlebag. She's always like, Wes, get your tack done up. Get it looking nice. Get everything where it goes. It all flows and feeds somewhere and have it looking good instead of stuff all loose and undone. So, there you go, Janice. I'm, I'm still listening. Uh, all right. Breast collar. Fed around here. Mm. 
Man, I think it's going great. I mean, Buddy hasn't moved. Hasn't moved a, not a, not a step. All right, I'm gonna get this breast collar strap down here and get this all buckled up. And then I'm gonna get on this other side and just go check my breast collar on this side. I think I need to tighten it up just a touch. Yep. All right, now we just got a bridle. While I'm over here, I'm gonna fix this saddle bag, get my straps done up. Janice, thank you. Janice Wilson from Queen Creek, Arizona. If any of you know her, you're smiling and laughing right now. Such a sweet lady, so knowledgeable too on her horsemanship. It's incredible what that woman knows. Okay, bridle. Let's get this dude bridled up. How about, buddy, let's go up here a little closer. Come around this way. There we go, let's do it right there. So what I like to do on bridling, I kind of like each time I'm bridling to almost, you know, to be like, I'm just kind of, well, every time, Every time is a training session. So if you're doing it with pressure and stress, then you're training your horse to be pressured and stressed while you're bridling. So here's what I like to do. I'm not gonna go through every step, but just the key, here's just the key thing I want you to, to think about. Maybe this will help you out. So as I get this up here and I'm ready for this to go, oh man, let me fix my, fix my gear here. I gotta get that curb strap back there, there we go. All right, so as I'm getting ready to <clears throat> offer this bit up here to go in Buddy's mouth, I'm gonna take my, my fingers and just massage inside of his mouth with the bit right there. And as soon as he opens his mouth, I'm out and done. You're welcome. I want it in my horse's head. We're not necessarily getting bridled. We're just going through a calm little gum massage, right? I'm just gonna stick that inside his lip and just rub his gum or his tongue and, and get him to open his mouth and then release all the pressure. Cause I want Buddy's mind, I want him the dot to dot puzzle that I'm presenting to him. When you feel my finger touch you, open your mouth for release, right? Release of pressure. So the first few times that I, you know, I come up, I won't even put the bridle in the first time. I'll make sure everything's feeling good. We'll do a nice little massage here. He opens his mouth and I'm done. You're welcome. And then what that leads to, right? Buddy doesn't know which time or what's gonna happen here. He just feels the same presentation. And now I'm just gonna ask him to open his mouth and then I just draw the bit in with my wrist of my right hand. I just draw that right up in there. Outside ear, get that up. Inside ear, make sure that sexy forelock is out here for everybody to see. Do up my throat latch and we're in business. So you saw how smooth that went? So that's probably the, let's see, if we're on his seventh-ish ride, that's probably the 10th time that, that I bridled him. Smooth, right? So easy, caveman could do it. Just slick, smooth. All right, we're tacked up. We're gonna do a little uh, ride here in the round pen. Got a few things I'm working on with Buddy. And then, uh, anyway, we're gonna go out on this trail ride. But... Mm -hmm.